In this video, we will implement IP safe list. Sometimes we want to limit the access of application to only certain IP addresses. We usually do this when application are testing phase and we want only tester can access the application. Or sometimes we want to restrict the certain IP addresses. So how this thing work? If I request under IP present in our IP safe list, then he can consume the API resource. Otherwise, he will receive 403 for binner status code. We can also make restrict IP list. If I request under IP present a restrict list, then he cannot consume API. He will get 403 status code and all other IP can consume the API resource. Let's implement this. In app setting file, we will add IP list. In this list, I have added IPv4 IP and IPv6 type of IP with colon is example of IPv6 IP. I will inject configuration service because we need to access IP list from app setting file. First, I will try to run this application. .NET Core Web API comes with Swagger, so I will open Swagger page. We have one controller that has one get method. This endpoint working fine. First, we will get remote IP. Remote IP means client IP which initiate the request. HTTP context.connection.remote IP addresses will have the client IP. A remote IP can be null. Don't forget to add null check. If a remote IP is null, then return IP null error. Next, we will check IPv4 is mapped to IPv6 IP. If yes, then we will map to IPv4 IP. Next, we will get IP list from app setting file. In get value, we will pass the key. I will copy key from app setting file. Split by semicolon. I will call to list method on it so I can use link function. Now I will check remote IP exists in IP list. IP list dot exist. I will use equal method for IP comparison. Now I will convert string into IP address object so we can compare IP address. Dot parse. Now I will add if condition on exist variable. Remote IP exists in our IP list. Then we will return 403 for binary status code. We have to change the return type of this endpoint so we can send the status code. We will use I action result. We will move this array into OK method. I will add one breakpoint and start the application. Send API request, it will stop on a breakpoint. You can see remote IP, which is colon colon one. IP list from app setting file. This IP exists in our IP list. You can see 403 error. Now I will send API request from Firefox. You will see different remote IP. Now we have this IP 127. This IP also exists in IP list. It will return 403 error. Now I will remove one IP from app setting file. I will remove colon colon one. Restart the application. Send API request from Chrome. Remote IP is one. This IP is not present in the list. Exist is false. You can see now we have data in our response. Now I will send a request from Firefox. Remote IP is 127. That is present in the list. We will get 403 error. I have sent request from Firefox. You can see 403 error on Firefox.
this solution has one issue if we want to implement this solution on other endpoints we have to copy paste this piece of code in every endpoints in which we want to implement we have a solution for this issue we can use action filter attribute now we will create action filter i will create folder for filter folder name filter i will move this folder to root directory in this folder i will create class ib checker filter namespace of filter filter name ib checker filter filter constructor we will access value from app setting file we need to inject configuration service to convert this class into filter we need to implement action filter attribute interface import the namespace of our filter we will override this own action executing method this method run before endpoint we will use this method to modify the request base dot on action executing must be called at the end of this method remove this comma copy this piece of code comment this code paste here http context will be in a context object import namespace of ip address in a context dot result we will return 403 status code now we will register this filter in our program file this action filter has a one dependency which is configuration we need to pass here we can use this action filter on any endpoints this is a service filter that has one dependency we have to use like this i will add a breakpoint in a filter and start the application send api request we can see application stopped on a breakpoint so we can see action filter is working fine you can see remote ip ip list from app setting file remote ip is not present in the safe list return 403 status code 403 response if you want to apply on a whole application you can use middleware so it is useful if you want to restrict all api endpoints altogether i will disable action filter service create folder for middleware add middleware class i will paste skeleton code of our middleware in a middleware class we will use invoke method for ip logic in a middleware you can specify on which method you want to check ip in middleware we will get ip list from app setting file in a constructor add breakpoint here now i will register this middleware class in a program file i will pass dependency which is configuration service start the application we will test the middleware execute remote ip this ip is not present in our list for a 3 in our response so middleware is working fine thank you for watching my video